Welcome to Ask the Mountain Lake Terrace Cop. I'm Teresa Whipple, and I'm here with Sergeant Pat Lowe. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Good, thanks. Good. The rain is here, but I hear it's supposed to be nice later this weekend. I heard close to 80 degrees yeah. by the weekend. Yeah. We well, could use that. We could. It's yeah. time. Now, we're going to talk today about a question that came from someone regarding bicycle safety, and in particular with little kids, which is an appropriate topic now that the weather's getting nicer. Yes. Um, so how should parents approach bicycle safety with, with their youngsters, especially as they're maybe just learning how to ride, they might be out on a street. What are the things that parents should be keeping in mind? Well, I guess knowing your child is really important and knowing what their skill level might be like on a bicycle is really important. Um, some kids are better at riding bikes than others. That's true. So what I would like to say is that I think you should ride with your children in the beginning and teach them, ride alongside with them, kind of get them to know the rules of the road and follow some of the uh, safety guidelines that are out there and and do that before you let your kids go out on their own on a bicycle. Yeah. Um, I think that's super important. Also, you want to make sure that your child's bicycle is, has all the safety equipment. There's flashers, there's reflective equipment. Make sure all the nuts and bolts are tight. You know, it's a good, solid, sturdy bike so it, it doesn't break down on them when they're out there. Yeah. Uh, obviously, wear a helmet. And as far as all the rules goes, you can go up to our police department and there'll be a pamphlet or a flyer on all the safety rules that you need to know before uh, going out bicycling. And that'll be good for kids and for adults as well. Okay. So Very good. And I'm sure that you know, things have changed since I was little and nobody wore a helmet and we just went out all day long on a bike and probably didn't care whether the brakes were working so much <laughs> and all those things. I've and, been there a time yeah. or two and I have some scars to prove <laughs> Me it. too, actually. Yeah, we can talk about that another time. Um, but is there anything, I mean, you mentioned helmets and I'm sure that, you know, I've actually seen times when the parent might not be wearing a helmet, mm -hmm. but the child is. I'm sure there's just in general an issue of being a role model for your kids when it comes to that kind of thing, right? Well, of course, they're gonna look up to their adult parents or their friends and everyone else. So yeah, you should follow the same rules mm -hmm. that uh, you expect your child to follow. Yeah. And plus it's the law. Yeah, uh, that's right. Like well, Paris, yeah, you have to too. wear a helmet. Okay, good to know. Yeah. And, and, and it's also the law, you have to have reflectors on your bikes. Um, you have to have lights, and so, yeah, you know, make sure that you follow the same rules to your child. You're right. There's definitely a role model issue going on. Okay. So, and, you know, it's also good to know that uh, you have to pay attention to drivers out there, and you have to teach your children to pay attention to drivers, because with cell phones and people that are not paying attention, we've talked about this on other segments, yes. you know, driving and looking at your cell phone, people... Uh, can be kind of scary when they're out there driving and so you really need to teach your children to to pay attention to the cars yeah, um, yeah. and vice and versa when you're a driver in a car mm -hmm. children are unpredictable yes, if you see are. small kids you know you expect people to follow the rules they're going to dart out in front of you uh you have to really really be cautious when you're driving around in residential neighborhoods um, yeah. And pretty much anywhere you're going to see someone riding a bicycle. Yeah, I've noticed that too. I'm a bike rider and I go often on the inner urban trail mm -hmm. and when children are out and about on the trail, even with their, when they're with their parents, I just assume that they're going to end up on the other side of the trail mm -hmm. <laughs> because they're not necessarily paying attention. And I guess part of that too is probably making eye contact with a driver when you're stopped you know, on a bicycle mm -hmm. just to make sure, you know, just like even with a pedestrian, same idea. Yeah, nonverbal communication, yes. right? Make sure you kind of know where each other's at right. as far as what your intentions are. Yeah, good. So, and sometimes, you know, a parent may have all the best intentions and they may try, be trying to teach their child how to ride a bike safely, but the child is getting ready to dart out across the road or a crosswalk right. and the parent might yell out for them to stop. Maybe they don't hear. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's re paying attention is really, really the key. Okay, good. So. Well, I hope everybody gets a chance to go out and uh, enjoy the weather on a bicycle or otherwise, and uh, thanks Plus for it's, the information. It's good for you, too. Get out there and ride, right. get some exercise. I yes, probably should do that a little more often. <laughs> okay. So. All right. Well, thanks again. We'll be back again soon with another episode of Ask the Mount Lake Terrace Cop.